leads, your competition is stealing your leads, and here's how to stop them. Studies show that attempting to reach a new lead within five minutes versus just 30 minutes makes it 100 times more likely to get in contact with them. And this same study also found that the average company takes three hours and eight minutes to respond, and 47% never responded at all. And after managing over $2 million in ad spend and generating hundreds of thousands of leads for loan officers in the last two years, the biggest hurdle that we face is getting loan officers to pick up the phone to call the leads and also to respond to text messages from prospects. But here's the great news. With the rise of AI assistance, these problems are about to become a thing of the past. Imagine having a virtual assistant that never sleeps, never takes a break, and is always ready to engage with leads at a moment's notice and isn't scared to ask for the sale or the appointment. That's the power of AI assistants like those created by OpenAI. These intelligent chatbots can be programmed to follow up with your leads instantly, whether it's through a phone call, text message, or even a personalized email. They can qualify leads, answer common questions, and even schedule appointments on your behalf. In this video, I'm gonna showcase the power of these AI assistants, and I'll showcase a mortgage qualification text bot that I recently built out to have conversations with your mortgage leads. I'll meet you at my computer and we'll get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to walk through actually setting up a chatbot using the OpenAI assistance. But before we do that, I'm going to actually showcase how this works. I've actually created a text bot that will respond directly to uh, your text messages. So if any leads are coming in and they respond to any of our automation, then this chatbot uh, goes in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to text from my cell phone. So as you can see, I have my cell phone right here. I'm texting the bot. It's about to pop up here. So I said, hi, right? So we just received the, the text message and now we're just waiting for the bot to respond. All right, so as you can see here, the chat bot responded. All right, so you see it popped up. I wanna buy a home. Now let's see what the chat bot says back to us. Fantastic, have you been doing any online browsing or house hunting yet? No, I have not. See, again, this is me. I'm not touching anything. This is just the AI bot that is communicating with a potential prospect. No problem at all. Do you have any specific areas or neighborhoods you're interested in? All right, so. I'm interested in La Mesa, area here in San Diego. La Mesa, great choice. What do you like about the area? If they're in my office and I like the area. Again, I am pretending like I am the consumer and this bot is pretending like they're the loan officer or they're the person that works for the loan officer department. That sounds like a great location, especially being close to work. Before we move on, do you happen to know your credit score and where did you find that information? So. I have a 730 credit score. I checked Credit Karma and let's see what it responds with. That's an excellent score. By the way, what do you do for a living? I'm a firefighter. As you can see, it just continues to have a conversation and it sounds like a conversational text message. It's not using big, long letters. It's not, not doing crazy stuff like that. So what an awesome job. Thank you for your service. Have you ever been pre-approved for a mortgage? No worries, we can walk through that process together. Just to confirm, you haven't started your house hop shopping yet, right? And you're looking to buy in La Mesa area? Yes, exactly. Great, how long have you been thinking about buying a home? For a couple months. That's a solid start. Do you have any questions about the home buying process or is there anything specific you want to help with? Great, let's get you on a call with one of our specialists who can guide you through this process. Would you prefer a morning or an afternoon slot? See, now it's going for the appointment. Perfect, I have two slots available for you in the afternoon. The first one is 2 p.m. and the second one is 4 p.m. Which one works better for you? Let's do 4 p.m. In this case, for whatever reason, it wasn't integrated into the calendar uh, or, or maybe had a little error, but it's still going to try to get the booking. So just to make sure, can you tell me your name, email, and confirm your phone number for me, right? So as you can see, the power of using this bot. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you exactly how to go about setting one of these up. So first thing you're gonna do is you're going to come over here to OpenAI and uh, what you're going to want to go to is you're going to go to openai.com going to take you to a page like this. You can scroll all the way to the bottom. And as you can see here, we got the API. That's what we want to get to. We don't want ChatGPT because that is the version that is basically open to the public. This is also open to the public, but it just gives you a little bit more access to additional tools. So let's go ahead and hit API login and it'll take you to a page like this, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and hit continue again. So here it gives, here it gives you two options. We have the ChatGPT option or we go to the API and that's where we wanna go is the API. All right, so as you can see, there's a whole lot of things that you can do here. There's capabilities, vision, text-to-speech, speech-to-text, speech -to -text, all of these other things here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the assistant. And so we've created some assistants over here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to create an assistant. So click create, whatever it is that you want this to be. So we can do mortgage qualification bot and let's go ahead and plug some instructions in. You are an agent for uh, Empire Mortgage. You are friendly and human-like with a slight touch of witty humor. Apparently, I don't know how to spell, but not unprofessional. Your name is Alvin. I don't know, I just made a name up. Never speak more than one to two sentences. Pretend you are human. Speak at no more than a fifth level. Never reveal that you are a bot or that you are AI. Someone asks you, let me go ahead and copy and paste this so I don't have to keep 
Type in it. So I'm gonna ask if you're a bot or AI, say you're an assistant that is available to help answer questions. You are dealing with conversation type. Conversation will your goal to have a conversation with the bot with the prospect, with the goal of... All right, so here's where it gets fun. Here's where you get to tell more information about your product to the actual um, bot, right? So you can say, hey, uh, here's what our programs look like. Maybe you're talking about the veteran program. Maybe you're advertising for, I don't know. I mean, it really depends, right? Here's where you get to put your information about your particular products, your programs, your business. Someone asks where you're located. You can put your address in here. Uh, those are the types of things that you can actually input into the system so that it will give you back the instructions. So I'm not gonna get too deep into what this all looks like. The next thing you're gonna do is we're going to go into what we want them to do. What are they gonna do first? Our goal is to ask some pre-qualification questions, right? So what are the first things you wanna ask? They have been doing any house. Step two, ask. Well, I'm gonna start actually or ask them. They have a particular area they are looking at home in. And again, if you wanna do this a refinance qualification bot or a purchase qualification bot, you can do that. So ask them what credit score they have. Actually, I'm gonna do this, that's step four. I'm gonna do step three. So again, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to create a conversational bot that has the intent to book an appointment, but in order to book the appointment, they need to, uh, to, to have a conversation like as if they're a real person, right? A human. We don't wanna sell someone right off the bat, especially if these are cold leads coming off the internet. Now, if these are warm referrals, you know, you may want to treat them a different way, but we're talking about someone that maybe came in from the internet that we're trying to build some trust with, we're trying to have a conversation with. So we want to use this very sort of conversationally, right? Uh, step four, ask them what credit score they have. Ask them if they have any bedrooms. All right, so um, now once we have uh, achieved this, uh, and again, asked all the questions you want. So you get to decide which questions you want, how much you want to qualify them, how much you don't want to qualify them, but ultimately we want to have enough back and forth so that it feels like a real conversation, so it feels like you're really kind of building trust, asking them questions about what they really want. And again, what do they actually care about? The real estate stuff is the most important, right? The pre-qualification, the, the credit score, stuff like that should really be asked later in the conversation because we're ultimately trying to uh, build their trust and ask them questions about what they're most excited about. No one's excited to get a loan at the end of the day. They're excited to uh, to house hunt, right? They're excited to go see houses. They, that's what they're looking at Zillow and stuff like that for. So um, next thing is, let me do this. Step six and then let's go step seven all right so now we have basically created the bot so what we can do is we can go over here to playground i'm gonna actually go ahead and copy this just in case it tries to uh delete this on me now, there's models you can choose you can choose different models obviously the gpt4 turbo is uh is is one the gpt4 is going to be uh the the most powerful uh the gpt turbo is going to get you a little bit more speed and these are some of the more inferior they're going to cost less per credit uh just so you know you do have to sign up and get a, a payment in here um, before you set this up, but uh, real quick, I mean, it's, it's really simple. And these are some other things that you can do here, JSON. I don't really know much about that. I've just really set up these instructions and then we'll go to the playground. This allows us to actually test this. So I can just say, hi. So now we're basically pretending like we're in um, an actual integration. Hello, have you started looking at houses or are you just getting started on your house turning journey? And, and again, you can create, you can continue to prompt this until it doesn't do weird stuff like this. You know, getting started on your house hunting journey sounds kind of bodish, but uh, I have been. That's exciting. Is there a particular area you're interested in? And do you have any preferences for the number of bedrooms and bathrooms? Yes, I really like La Mesa and the at least four bathrooms. Four bathrooms, four bedrooms. La Mesa's a great area. What do you like most about it? Near my office um, and the shopping. That sounds really convenient. What's your credit score like? I have a, got it. How long have you been looking for houses? About, about three months. You're really getting into it then. Do you have any questions about the home buying process? Is there something specific I can help you with? No, I'm just wanting to see. Or, great, let's set up an appointment to discuss your options, see how much you can qualify for. Does this morning or afternoon, does morning or afternoon work better for you? I can offer times like 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. or maybe two or four. What suits you best? The afternoon, best, man, would be great. And obviously what you can do is you can actually integrate this into a CRM if it has the integrations. Um, and what it'll actually do is it can interact directly with the calendar. You do need to have some specific integrations. I use a platform called Consolidated to do that, but there's several other ones out there, or you could build your own uh, API integrations. I know that gets a little bit complicated, for most people that are watching this. But again, you can see the power of building out something like this. You could use this for uh, a little widget on your website. Um, so one of the things that we have done is we have built this out into a snapshot using High Level, uh, which is a platform that we like to use. Um, we also just launched a new uh, do-it-yourself version of our agency marketing program where we're teaching loan officers how to generate their own leads. And we are uh, actually including this in the CRM build that we are providing to the people that are using 
um, our DIY uh, program. So if you are interested in learning about that, you go ahead and drop a comment below, uh, or there will be a link in the description uh, to book a call to learn a little bit more about our marketing program. But really, again, if you look and implement something like this, you can really build this yourself, uh, or you can find some other areas that you can build this. There's a lot of YouTube videos on how to do this as well. If you got value from this video and you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like this video, drop any comments below on any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.